Hi. Uh, okay, so uh, this is a little project I want to uh, tell you about, and um, it spawned after I uh, made this project, which is uh, this is the remnant of uh, my little RC car that I made. It normally had a little servo here to steer, and it was uh, powered by a 9 volt battery with an Arduino uh, on top. Um, not an Arduino, but actually uh, the Atmel. Uh, chip that goes on Arduino, uh, but basically this act as uh, the Arduino board would do, but in a like a, a small smaller version of an Arduino board. But this thing was still bulky, and I mean this was the ugliest thing I think I've ever put together. But I wanted to make something smaller and niftier, and then I fell upon the uh, the Atmega uh, AT Tiny chip, which is uh, this little thing here. Uh, and uh, the cool thing about this is that uh, you can use the exact same code as the uh, that you would use on Arduino. Um, so the same code that runs on the normal Arduino chips will run on AT Tiny chips. So there's the whole bunch. I'll, I'm going to list them out on my uh, on my blog. But uh, this one is the AT Tiny 13, and um, so it's a very nice little thing, and it runs on 3.3 uh, volts. And it has uh, three, uh, four, uh, or five pins, I think, uh, of, uh, that you can program. And um, so uh, th I always wanted to make something with that. And then what happened is I, I uh, by destroy a couple of toys, I found uh, little um, motors like this little thing here, which uh, if you look on the electronic sites, you're going to find them listed as uh, pager motors. So they're very small uh, and they, they run pretty darn fast, uh, but they're very fragile also and they don't have a lot of torque. Uh, but uh, so the cool thing is I wanted to make something with that and uh, the result was this, which is a, um, I, I crammed everything into uh, those two bricks here and, uh, and it's powered by a, uh, a, a LiPo battery here. Okay, so I'm going to show you a little bit uh, what I did here. So this here, this here is the motor. Okay, and it runs, you see the AT Tiny is there, you can still remove it, there's a socket there. So <clears throat> the idea is that what I did is I took a, um, I took a normal uh, Lego uh, wheel set like that, so I removed the whole thing. Uh, so I'm going to put this here as a reference. And uh, basically, as you can see, I, what I did is I removed uh, the center part and uh, also I cut the little part, a little piece here so that the motor could reach the gear. And then I took another uh, part like this and this one I, I took a little piece here so that the motor go, goes through. Then I, I, I put a little square hole here for the plug and uh, for the other side, of course, I took a huge chunk out to make space for the AT Tiny. The center pole I kept there, but uh, I removed half of it, and the other side has a little round uh, thing uh, uh, sculpted into it so that the, the motor is, is sitting on a, a little curve piece right there. So um, the gear I stole from a, um, it's the same deal as uh, this monster here, okay. I took a an RC, not an RC car, but a little electrical car for uh, those tracks. So I just took those two gears here. So that's basically the exact same gears, okay. And I placed the gears <coughs> on a um, on the thing with the super glue on that. And uh, then after that, the the, the biggest thing was to uh, pack everything in there basically because basically in there what you have is you have a socket you have the AT tiny you have a um, a little capacitor you have a transistor to run the transistor the cool thing is uh, the transistor is actually sitting inside the pole like this inside the hole and uh, so it's it's half cut but it's basically hugging that thing in, in there and then the the socket is on the other side so it's all very crammed in there but everything fit and this also is in there somewhere so um, there's a 
basically all those parts are crammed into that one little brick like that right here and the motor head goes to this and um, oh yeah and there's also a little uh, plug here uh, like that for the socket for a, a basic uh, lipo uh, battery so um, just gonna make it run real fast so that I don't have one of those videos where you show a whole bunch of stuff and then nothing happens at the end I don't really have to put the front wheels on but you know so basically it just runs forever okay and uh, it just pulses on the pin 4 of the AT Tiny and it starts running as soon as I plug this in this is only a prototype of course normally you would have a little on off switch and stuff but the idea is that this can run on a track and uh, you know it's a nice little thing. I'm going to give that to my kids so they can, you know, uh, play with it. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to post everything, all the parts lists, and uh, so that you can start building some for yourself. And uh, hopefully that's going to be uh, helpful for a bunch of people. Thanks. Bye.